Hello friends, welcome to BAC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomology's crop wise pest classification and I am going to cover the topic pest of potatoes. So it is the picture of potato and uh, some of the important pest which was present in potato. Um, I have listed them with their scientific name and also with their family. So let's see one by one among these pests in this video. So the first one is potato tuber moth, where the scientific name is Pithiora mariae, so opi, Operclea, which is used to come under the family Gelicidae and order Lepidoptera. So it is said to be a field as well as good on pest, so which is used to attack even in the field as well as after the post harvest. So the major symptoms we can able to see in the field or the mining of leaves as well as the foliage which is said to be tunneled by them and also in stems as well as in tubers so we can also be able to see a growing of death plants so where the plants which used to have a death and also which is said to be a weakening one and also there is a breaking of stems and uh, you can be able to identify the affected plant when there is a presence of tuber moth so in tubers irregular shaped galleries are rotting with the foul smell so the foul smell habitants which is said to be majorly found in the godons so which used it to tell there is a presence of uh, potato tuber moth so it is some of the damages caused by potato tuber moths so it is a picture of tuber moth where the host range varies from uh, solanaceous species example it also affects tobacco, uh, tomato, brinjal, potato, sugar beet, etc. And so while seeing about the biology which is the, where the eggs are said to be singly laid and larva which is said to be a pale greenish and pinkish at pupation period with uh, period of around 7 to 15 days based around the climatic changes and the pupa which is said to be a silk and cocoon on exposed tubers which uh, used to have a pupal period of around 8 to 10 days and adult which is said to be a small moth with a silvery whitening body and we can be able to see a dirty white fringes at the hairs present in their wings and so the management we can be able to go for potato tuber moth or you can be able to avoid shallow planting of tubers so we must need to plant the tubers at the depth of 10 to 15 centimeter deep so the greater depth which is used to increases the attack of tube uh, potato tuber moth and also we must need to install pheromone traps at 12 per number per hectare so the we can be able to monitor the presence of tuber moth and also the pheromone trap must need to be placed in good ones too and earthening up up to 60 days after planting to avoid potato tuber moth egg laying in the exposed tubers so we can be able to avoid the presence of laying of eggs in the exposed tubers after the planting so where you can be able to see the pla uh, tubers are said to be have the starting stage of formations and we must need to control the foliar damage by spraying of neem seed kernel extract 5 percentage or we must need to go for chemical spraying such as final pus 20 easy 2 ml per liter uh, so the sprayings are said to be taken management with the economic threshold level of 5 percentage leaf damages so while see while placing or monitoring these insects in godown i have already tell we must need to keep pheromone traps in godowns or else we must need to spray on the upper surface of the leaves of lantana or euphotron branches to ripple over portion of over portioning of moths in the potatoes so which is said to be a greater repellent of potato tuber moths and also we must need to seed treatment with the quinal pus dust at uh, 1 kg per 100 kg of tubers is said to be an effective one against the potato tuber moths and so we must we are going to see about the cutworms which was present in potato so they are said to be a polypagus in nature and uh, they used to have a egg laying capacity of around 300 to 450 eggs per female and they used to lay eggs at 10 to 15 eggs in cluster and also they are said to be a whitish one and the larva which is said to be a gregarious in early stages of 10 to uh, 30 uh, 10 days so they used to have a life period of around 10 to 30 days and the pupation which is said to be an ethnic cocoon so they used to majorly attack the plants as well as uh, eat the plants at uh, night so they used to cut seedlings near the ground level and eat tender parts of the plant so these are the pictures of the cutworms so some of the biomics about these larvae 
so which is said to be a dark grayish and uh, smoothly skinned one with yellowish longitudinal stripes and where the pupa is said to be a lepidor lepidopterous pupa which is said to be a brown cylindrical one we can able to see beneath the soil and so the adult which are said to be heavily bodied moths with a forming of around sooty black appearance so they used to have a wingspan of around 4.5 cm where you can able to mention it as 45 mm so it is the life cycle of the cutworms which was present in potato and so the management we can able to go for cutworms or installation of light traps during summer to attract adult moths and also sprinkler irrigation system in a day a daylight which use it to expose larva to the predators like birds and also then den- drenching the color region of plant and evening hours with the chloripyrifos 2 ml per liter can reduce the um, infection um, the pest incidents caused by the cutworms in the plant so and the next one which was an important pest in potato is white grub so where the host range is uh, for white grubs or other than potato or groundnut and sugar cane so these are the damages caused by white grubs and also grubs damage caused in the roots of the potatoes so while seeing about white grubs they used to have two species anola species as well as holy trichia species the anola species which used to comes under scarabdes family and holy trichia species which used to comes under the family melanolonthidae so the adult which used to mainly fo- feed on the foliage during night time and the grub which is to be c shaped which used to feed on the developing roots as well as tubers of the potato they used to have a total development period of around 8 to 10 months and also they used there is to be a polyphagous nature and the eggs are said to be laid near in soil near the host plants so these are the pictures of the adult white grubs so the management we can able to go for white grubs or summer plowing to expose pupa as well as adult so because they have a larger period and uh, they also have a pupation period in larger days so exposing to sunlight which used to reduce their count in the field and also we must need to dust quinal pus 5d at 25 kg per hectare at 10 days after first summer rains is said to be an effective one of spraying and installation of light traps between 7 pm and 9 pm in april and may months which used to help us monitor the white grubs and also hand picking of adult beetles in the morning and hand picking of third instar grub during july and august so these are the important months we must need to remember in the management of white grubs and endemic areas apply for pet 10g at 25 kg per hectare during autumn season during august to october month is said to be an effective one in controlling the white grubs and the next one is bihar hairy caterpillar where the scientific name is pilosoma obliqua so which is said to be a gregarious feeder one which used to completely defoliate the whole plant in several cases extreme cases so the larva which is said to be a stouter nature one which used to have a length of around 25 to 40 mm and they used to have a dark colored yellowish hairs at both ends with a dark marks and the adult which is said to be a crimson colored one with a black dots present in them and also they used to have a peticulate um, pectinate antenna type in male and filiform antenna type in female so these are the pictures of bihar hairy caterpillar so while seeing about the uh, biomic characteristics eggs which is said to be laid in lore clusters and larva which is said to be a long yellowish to black hairish color and the adult which is said to be a medium sized moth with a red abdomen and uh, also have a wings with a pinkish with numerous black spot is an biomics of the adult one so and the next one is green peach aphid so which is said to be a sucking uh, insect so they use it to suck the sap but it does not cause us major damage but why are we listing it the important pest of Uh, potato is they use it to act as a vector of leaf roll virus and mosaic virus in potato so which use it to reduce the yield as well as uh, decreases the plant quantity as well as quality in the field level so the scientific name of green peach aphid is mysis perisica which use it to comes under the family epidae hemiptera so hemiptera is a family where the sucking insects are mainly placed and the distribution is said to be worldwide and the host range is potato as well as coal crops so which is potato family related crops so and the next one is leaf hopper where the scientific name is americus divestans so they used to affect the 
tip of the leaves and where the tip of the leaves become brown and turn upward and get dry so the nimpanadal which used to causes both the damage so the major symptom we, we can able to see is yellowing of the plant as well as the drying up of the leaves from the upward portions and the nimpanadal adult which is said to be yellowish green in color and the next one is glass house white fly so they used to get the name based on their appearance so their wings used to seem like a glass like structures where the scientific name of the glass house white fly white fly is trilorodus vapoporium so they are said to be yellowing and wilting of leaves sooty mold at basal leaves and uh, the nymph and adult both causes the damage in potato plant they use it to reduce uh, leave the scales in the plant so we can able to easily easily identify the glass house white fly present in them and the eggs which is said to be pedicellate eggs which is yellow in color and the nymph which is said to be yellowish white and the adult which is a small moth insect but it is used to have a glass like resemblance of whitish color but it used to have a resemblance of glasses so that's why they used to get the name of glass house white fly so on the next some of the leaf feeders of potato are spotted leaf beetle flea beetle and hairy caterpillars and uh, some other insects in potato uh, where we must need to remember only their scientific name as well as their family or aphids white fly leaf hopper and thrips so where the scientific name of aphids is aphis gossipi and delphanus ASV and Breconia brassicae and white fly is Bemisia tabaci and leaf hopper is Emposaca kerri and Emposaca fabi and thrips Solana thrips indicus. So I have already given the lecture notes in description. So please comment about the video and join us in the Instagram page. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to BSC Agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. So thanks for watching the video. I'll catch up in next videos.